Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using Blender's Asset Browser and an alternative if you cannot use the Asset Browser. I'm making this video to show our users how to use our Material and HDRI packs. If you want to purchase them, check the links in the description. First, if you cannot use the Asset Browser, you can always append whatever you want to your existing projects. To do that, you can either go to File, Append, or you can drag the .blend file into your scene and then click on Append. Then, navigate to the assets you want to append. In this example, I want to append materials. You can press A to select all, or just select the ones you want to import, and then press append. You have a few options here. If you hover over the box, Blender gives you tooltips for what the options do. Press append. If we look at our materials, we can see we now have these in our scene. The same is true for HDRIs. If we go to append and search world, we can import all or just a selection. Now, if we search our worlds, we see that this is an option. Now let's talk about Blender's asset library. The first thing you want to do is select a place or several places where you want to store your asset libraries. In this example, I'm just storing them on my C drive under a folder called Blender Asset Libraries. You could set these up on several different hard drives, but in this example, let's just look at C, Blender Asset Libraries. Any blend files that you put in here, Blender will read for your asset libraries, but you have to set it up first. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then File Paths down here at the bottom. Under Asset Libraries, you can see the name and the path. You can see on this computer, I have four separate libraries across three separate drives. To add your library, press the plus button, then navigate to the folder where you store your asset libraries. Remember, for me, it's C, Blender Asset Libraries, and then select the parent folder, and you have to give it a name. I'll call this one Main Asset Library. Now, let's look at it. To see the asset library, click on the icon in the top left corner of any window, and then navigate to Asset Browser. Under Asset Browser, you have a few options. You can look at your current file, or you can search any of those folders that we set up in Editor Preferences. I set up Main Asset Library, so let's look at that. If we open Main Asset Library, you can see we have a few options down here. In this example, we have HDRIs, we have Beach, we have Kitbash 3D, we have City Streets Collection, Kitbash 3D, and Unassigned. Anything you have in your asset library, you can bring in simply by dragging into your scene. The icons in the bottom left tell you what the asset is. For instance, this one is a material, this is a world, and this is a map. You can click and drag any asset into your scene, and it will appear as normal. If it's an object, you'll see it immediately. If it's a material and you have something selected, then if you drag the material onto the object, it will bring in the material and it will add it to your object. If you don't have anything selected and you bring in the material, it will bring it in, but you will have to manually select it. You can also select all and search, and it will search across all your assets in this main asset library. In this asset library, we have a lot of things that are unassigned. If we want to organize our asset libraries, we need to open the original blend files and change them there. Let's take a look at that now. I'm going to open this Material X blend file. Let's select the asset browser. And now you can see here we have the current file selected and then we can see all of our assets. If we click on unassigned, we can see all of the assets that are unassigned. So let's make a category and let's organize these. So if we go to the plus sign, we can add a catalog. Let's call this Material X and we can make a new catalog that's a sub catalog of the first one. We'll call this Metal and we'll make another one for non-metal. If we click on unassigned, we can start organizing these into metal and non-metal. Make sure to save. And now if we open up a new project, we go to the asset browser and search main asset library, we'll see we now have our new categories here for metal and non-metal. You may have noticed some of these thumbnails are incorrect. This is some bug with Blender that I hope will be sorted soon. The materials themselves are correct. To mark your own assets, right click on the object and go down to mark as asset. If it has this icon, it means it's marked as an asset. You can also right click and clear asset. Currently, you can mark 
objects as assets, materials as assets, worlds as assets, and poses as well. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.